I'm Dr. Arjik Major. I'm here with one of my patients who traveled from Seattle, Washington to have the Duke Laser Disc Repair Procedure done on his neck. And you could probably see there's a tiny little four millimeter incision. Now, your surgery was yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. Here you are. How do you feel? Well, I feel substantially pain-free. There's a little discomfort from the surgery procedure itself, but would change um, <clears throat> the way I overall feel, which is about 10,000 percent better than I felt for the last 18 years. Wow. So you've been suffering for 18 years with problems with your with your neck from a herniated disc, C67, one disc. That was done yesterday with the endoscope and the laser. It went really well. And 18 years of suffering. It's just so sad to hear that people uh, have to suffer so long when the treatment is readily available now. Um, what did you do in those 18 years because of your neck problems? Did you change the way you live? Did you try some treatments? Well, I, I tried about every kind of treatment that you could think of or that you've heard about and probably a bunch of them that you haven't thought about. Of course, I went to see uh, a number of physical therapists. I went through physical thera therapy protocols over and over and over again. Nothing worked. They tried traction. They tried manipulation. Actually, I want to say one thing that did work. <clears throat> Some army physical therapists use a special technique that only army physical therapists can use called manual manipulation, which lowered my pain threshold down from about eight or nine down to about three or four, which is why I was able to function for the last 18 years. The first four to six months, I was completely debilitated. I couldn't lay on my back. I couldn't lay on my right side and I couldn't sleep for more than 15 minutes for six months straight. After the army helped me out, I talked to many surgeons and they all just looked at me and said, you're not a good candidate for surgery. We don't think you're, this is right for you. Did and they tell you why? They, what they said was, your bulging disc is on the left side and all of your symptoms are on the right side. Therefore, you're not a good candidate for surgery. They kind of just left it at that. One of them, who was a, a, an astute surgeon, he looked at me straight in the eyes, an army colonel, and he said, you watch this closely, someday you're gonna need surgery. And I said, okay, I got it. But everyone I saw after that, including lots of civilian doctors and civilian surgeons, just kind of like shrugged their shoulders and said, oh, we don't know what to do. So I tried intermuscular stimulation, which is dry needling, which by the way is very painful. And I get a little bit of relief from that for a few days or a week. Um, I tried um, massage therapy, of course, including stretching, sort of partner-assisted stretching with Thai yoga massage that would help for maybe a day or two or something, but, and, I, and a myriad of other things that acupuncture and you name it, I've tried it. Nothing worked at all. And then uh, I interviewed with Dr. Duke and he zeroed in on my MRI and he looked straight at the disc that was clearly impinging my spinal cord and he just said, he said very straightforward, there's nothing that's going to fix this except for surgery. And I was like, well, of course. I mean, I've tried literally every single thing you could possibly try. And yeah. so, you know, now I, I have a little bit of pain and discomfort from the surgery procedure itself and the intubation left me with a little bit of a sore throat. But the rest of the pain that radiates throughout my body is gone and I actually feel like my overall general health is improving by the hour. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. So do you know why you were misdiagnosed by all those doctors? You know, I, I could speculate. Um, I kind of think it might just be like triage, you know, you think, they all knew I was hurt. So they were like, you're hurt, but maybe you're just not hurt bad enough for us to want to fix you. I think is kind of how I... How I'm going to tell you why. I've thought about this for years. The reason why is all the surgeons and doctors look at a disc herniation and the first thing they look for is how big is it? Because they believe bigger means more pressure, which means the need for surgery. What they don't understand, and it's so simple, and I've learned this, I figured it out, is that disc problems are not about size, they're about inflammation. It's an irritation of the surrounding 
structures like the dura, the nerves, the spinal cord, they're irritated. The pain nerves are irritated by inflammation. So you can have a small bulge that causes horrible pain like your case. Your disc herniation was not big and that's why they wouldn't operate on it. But they're judging it improperly. They're looking at structural rather than physiological problems. And this is the great misunderstanding that all these doctors around the world have. And that is why patients like you are suffering needlessly for years and years and your life is debilitated because of their ignorance about this one fact that disc disease is an inflammatory condition, not a structural condition. And when I learned that 16 years ago by doing endoscopic surgery for the first time, on small herniations that took my patient's symptoms away, I recognized immediately it wasn't a structural thing that like I was taught in residency. It was actually an inflammatory process. And by removing the herniation and cleaning the tear, I allowed the disc to heal naturally without inflammation. And that's why the symptoms go away. There's no more inflammation going on. And that's why it feels so much better. It's, yeah. You're right, it's the inflammation. I could never get the inflammation. Of course, that's right, I forgot. I tried all those other things, the steroid pills that you take, the prednisone, the, the this, the that, the ibuprofen, zero. None of that stuff worked at all. It doesn't work because the inflammation is in a very focal spot in the back of one disc. And those treatments don't target that one spot. But the laser surgery, the Duke laser disc repair does target that one spot. That's all we target. Yeah. And that's why it's so minimally invasive. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You took a leap of faith. You came across the United States to Florida to have this done. Yeah. And uh, any regrets? No. I mean, I guess, you know, I know it's cliche. The only thing I really regret is that I didn't learn about the Duke Spine Institute many years ago. But having said that, I'm kind of grateful that I found you eventually because the alternative surgery, I really don't want to have people cutting into my neck and and bolting on plates into the back of my spine and fusing my spine. So um, I'm glad that I ultimately did find you. So I'm thankful. I'm grateful for that. You're welcome. And anything you want to add uh, tell our audience before we wrap this up? Well, I, I would say this. <clears throat> I, I intend to let my colleagues and friends know I, I worked as a airline pilot and as a military pilot for many years and I know there's a lot of other military pilots out there who ha have neck problems. It's just the nature of military flying that if you do it long enough you're going to have neck problems. So I do plan to share your, uh, your information. Thank you. You bet. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks.